Emotions still running high a day after the governor vetoes the civil unions bill. Good evening. Supporters of that vetoed measure took their disappointment and focused their attention on politics, endorsing the one candidate for governor who says he would have signed the civil unions bill into law. KITV4's Jill Kuramoto is here with tonight's top story. Jill. Well, Paula, candidate Neil Abercrombie has always been an outspoken advocate against discrimination, so it's no surprise the gay and lesbian community would throw their support behind him. The day after Governor Lingle vetoed House Bill 444, the Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual and Transgendered Caucus of the Democratic Party endorsed Neil Abercrombie for governor. He believes in the justice and integrity and dignity of every person. That's why we need him. We need him to move this state forward. Abercrombie has called the bill a civil rights issue and said if elected to the state's highest office, he would not leave the issue up to voters. I don't think it's ever a good idea to put someone's fundamental human rights uh, in a situation where you can vote as to whether or not somebody should have it. Abercrombie's main opponent in the primary, Mufi Hanneman, today said he firmly supports letting the people of Hawaii have a say on the emotionally charged issue. If they choose to make an issue, then let's sit down early on, roll up our sleeves and find out where that common ground is. Hawaii's top Democrat, Senator Dan Inouye, has made it a point to stay neutral in the race for governor. But Inouye today said that he supported the bill. I'm old enough to remember laws that were part of the United States where it was punishable as a crime if a white person married an Asian or Polynesian or an African. And most of those who proposed such laws said God dictated that. Same-sex marriage has been a rallying point for Christian political groups who are preparing for rallies and contentious public hearings. And it's expected voters on both sides of the issue will make an impact at the polls when it comes time to cast their ballots. Now there's a reaction to the veto from another faction, angry people on the mainland who are threatening to boycott Hawaii. I'll have the follow-up from that coming up at 6. Reporting live, Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News.